Welcome to this edition of the MTBCHR tutorial. In this tutorial session, you'll learn about the communication tab under patient details. So let's go ahead and click on patient search tab in order to select the patient first. Under patient search tab, double click on the patient name whom you wish to select. And then select communication tab. Now the purpose of the communication tab is to communicate information about patient's illness to their family members or the patient himself. So to start documenting the information, click on new. The first option is to select provider by clicking on this add button. Once you click on the add button, the next thing you can do is type in the provider name or the first initials such as D. I'm gonna go ahead and select this provider and then press select. Now as soon as you press select the provider is showing up in this box. If you wish to remove the name you can go ahead and click on this cross button and it'll go ahead and remove the provider's name. The next step is to select the person from this list who's being communicated. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and select patient's mother and then select type of communication from this list. Such as oral you can also assign this task of communication to one of the staff members who are using the EHR. I'm going to go ahead and select Colleen from this list by checking this box and then press OK. Last but not the least, you have to type in comments regarding the information such as patient has to take bed rest for at least 10 days. Now before you can go ahead and save the information regarding communication, there's another button that says display setting. Let's go ahead and click on it to see the details. Now it allows you the option of removing the following columns under patient communication by clicking on modify button. Once you click on modify button you can remove the following columns from the patient communication such as you know if you wish to remove a column just uncheck the box and click on save button it's gonna go ahead and remove the following column from the list. So this is how you can use the display setting. Click on close to exit out of the display setting So let's go ahead and click on save button to save the communication information. And once the communication is saved, you can view details, communication details. You can also print out the communication details to get a hard copy in order to give it to the person who's the responsible person for communication. So this is how you can use the communication tab under patient details. We hope that this feature explains you the functionality and purpose of communication tab as well as thank you for watching this edition of the MTBC HR tutorial.